Yesterday we had some decent speed winds, as you can see from these aspen trees. Uh, they weren't gale force winds, but probably in the low teens. So I was able to try my turbine out on the pole. I've never seen it self-start to high speed mode, so I have to give it a push. Power numbers here aren't very impressive, but I think that's mostly the fault of my alternator, which has pretty high resistance. I think the turbine is basically free spinning because the alternator can't hold it down. I have a pretty windy alternator. Not sure what the sound is. I think some of the uh, tape might be loose on one of the wings. This is what the three phases of the alternator look like relative to the rectified ground. This is unloaded. In a second here I am going to connect the battery and it will be loaded. This turbine would be a good test subject for an electronic charge controller. Because even with a little load, uh, the turbine is so light it has hardly any inertia. And if the wind pauses just for 5-10 seconds, uh, the alternator can take it below its critical speed and it drops out of warmth. Hopefully an electronic controller would prevent that. So one good thing I did see is that given sufficient winds, the turbine runs perfectly fine on my pole, which is a little bit flexible. In fact, it seems that once it gets moving, the flexion of the pole has absolutely no effect on it. Thanks for watching.